Yo guys, Sans here and this is the MSI GS65 Stealth 10 8RF gaming laptop. Alright, now let's talk about specs. This has the Intel Core i7 8th gen processor clock at 2.20 GHz with 6 cores of processor. Now, what's good about it? It means it has more cores to process demanding tasks like gaming and video editing. Now, it relies on physical numbers of cores. So the, better, the more cores you have, the better performance you get. Now, what about the graphics? Now, this has the GeForce GTX 1070 with Max-Q design. And for RAM, we have a 16GB of DDR4 RAM. So I think the water of this is for cooling. It suffers heat problems due to its compact design when gaming. Since all the latest specs and you have a 6-core processor in this machine, the heat problem is distributed all over the body since the body is constructed on aluminum. So better use this on a cooler environment like an air-conditioned room or just use a laptop cooler that helps on the cooling process. But when you're doing productivity tasks like reading emails or just browsing the net or doing light editing work, the issue is not noticeable. A plus on this laptop, it has 8 hours of battery life on productivity use. Now, it has been my daily laptop for the past week and I'm really impressed about the battery life. Now, I don't have to chase a power outlet every single time I use this device. The battery life lasts around 7 to 9 hours depending on what I do. Now, for gaming, it will last 3 to 5 hours on battery mode, more or less. Now, what's my fav on this device? Now, let's talk about the keyboard. Now, the keyboard feels different from the past MSI laptop that I have reviewed. We have a shorter key travel that feels like typing on a MacBook. And with per key RGB, you can map colors on your keyboard. Now, the lights gets really bright and you can also dim it. Now, as for now guys, I am on the lowest settings here and I can go upwards and you can see it's really bright. Now, for the keyboard layout, this doesn't have a numpad and the function keys are all the way on the right hand. With F and key close to the control button here guys, you can really access or have an easy access on your volume up control your brightness level and the few function buttons that you can press now the function key is located on the right hand close to the control button which is a great placement for the function key now let's move to the trackpad now this has a plastic feel with no independent left and right clicks and has a gold accent on the side and the click has a good response on it whenever you're clicking it now moving on the body construction this has the similar body with the MSI Stealth Pro with aluminum build. My reservation on this is the ports. They almost got it right but been limited with one port that I use the most. That makes me feel heartbroken and sad. Now it locks the full size SD card reader and I'm not only going to game on this device, I'm going to edit videos so I need that SD card. Now the market on this laptop is not only for solid gamers. Maybe consider content creators like myself that will edit on this machine and will benefit with the 6-core processor on this laptop. It has the design for business look. I can go to meetings, pop this open, and make an impression. I can beat Apple users with its awesome design and almost complete force. But you took out the SD card and that makes me carry a stupid SD card reader that makes me almost look like an Apple user. Now for the I.O. we have USB Type-C, 3 USB Type-A, RJ45, and HDMI, Mini Display Port, and the mic in and headphones out. Now I'll trade that Mini HDMI display for an SD card. Moving on guys, we have this awesome display that makes this laptop stand out from the other gaming notebooks. Now this is a 15.6 Full HD 1920 by 1080p screen display with 144Hz IPS level screen display. Now because of its thin bezel, it doesn't feel like a 15 inch laptop. It's more closer to a 14 inch laptop. I like how the size is. It's giving you more on a thin and compact design laptop. It looks really modern with its thin bezel. Perfect for a 2018 laptop. Now moving on on the webcam, some laptops with thin bezel, the webcam placement is on the bottom part. That is pointing on your nose, but with this one, it is above here and it's pointing at the right direction. Now this is a sample video of the webcam. Right now you're seeing me on the webcam of the uh, GS65 Stealth 10 8RF. 
and this is the quality of the webcam and this is the audio of the webcam all right guys so now let's move on to the speakers now the speakers is located on the bottom part here guys now we have left and right speaker now let's do some testing here performance and style has been poor how thin is too thin for a gaming laptop now right now, this is the maximum volume of the laptop. I'm going to go on a lower volume. Moving up. Alright, so for the sound quality, it gets loud on a decent volume, clear, and it's not distorted. Alright guys, so now let's move on to the cooling vents. So we have some cooling vents over here and on the, fr on the front, on the rear part, and also to the sides of the laptop. Now for the weight of the laptop, it's under 1.88 kilograms. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's perfect for travel. As for now guys, as you can see, it's almost just 1 inch. So imagine you're carrying a 6-core processor laptop with GTX graphics card under an inch thin of a laptop with all of that power. Alright guys, so if you're looking for a compact and hardcore laptop with stylish look that will make an impression, this is one of my favorite laptop for 2018. Okay guys, so if you're interested in getting this laptop, check the link in the description box for more details about it. And again guys, my name is Hans Andres and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.